Here is the easing function panel where the default is linear. This is what a linear transition looks like. Now let's select Ease In, which will make the transition start slower, then accelerate. There are other easing presets, like Ease Out, that will slow down the transition as it reaches the end, Ease In Out, or other presets with a more accentuated curve, such as Ease In Quint. Or you can manually adjust the curve and create a custom ease effect that will be saved and will show up here. You can also create discrete animation using the step end or step start easing functions. The step end function will eliminate the transition and it will make the object jump at its new position or state when the playhead will reach the end keyframe. The keyframes change their shapes into squares and are connected by dotted lines when the step functions are applied. If you choose the step start function, it will take action when the playhead is at the starting keyframe. You can also control the steps between two step keyframes using this input here. Let's demonstrate that with four steps.